I grew up in a Christian home. It was a pretty happy childhood. I don't really have any complaints. We had a lot of fun as a family and I, there's a lot of love in my home. I remember my aunt went to Zimbabwe and planted an orphanage. And I, from the time I was 10, I think, I was like, well, that's it. I'm going to be missionary. The day after prom, I actually left for Africa. But quickly, my whole world fell apart. Spending um, a chunk of time in a refugee hospital uh, near the border of Sudan, which was a terrifying experience for me, uh, and really barely making it out alive. Uh, coming back so sick, that afraid, and that terrified of my life, walked away with a completely different view of who God was. I actually even questioned if he existed. So I think my whole world just sort of came to a halt. I ended up meeting my husband at the time and lived in Florida for quite a few years and even attended a, a big church and led worship there for a couple years and was really involved in our community. We had the house and the cars and the businesses and what people were seeing seemed fine. Being in church culture and not dealing with stuff that was just continued to be pushed under the carpet caused me to just want to give up and pull away. Our marriage wasn't doing well at all. And so it was easier to just push everyone away. As soon as um, we moved away or pulled back from our community, it got worse. It was then that my marriage fell apart and my whole world again fell apart. And I lost everything. my house near the Gulf of Mexico, and my business, and my husband in my early 30s. So I felt like such a failure. Pretty much essentially um, severed all my relationships in, in Florida. And I didn't want to talk about it with anybody. I was so humiliated. But I had a choice. I was either going to sit there and not move, or I could start my life over. My family lived closer to Hamilton and I wanted to start my life over somewhere fresh, somewhere new. So I remember hearing about C3 and going. I didn't know anyone. Driving around the church like three or four times before I worked up the nerve to even walk in. And I walked in, there was just an atmosphere of family, like a new family that I could have. The first couple months, um, I had actually moved to Toronto just for C3. Didn't have a job. At that point, I was really just living in Toronto to go to church. It took me a while to really dive in, but I kept going and I met some incredible people at a connect group and they've now turned into my best friends. Yeah, having some really good girls around me, they just encouraged me in my life and in my dreams and my work, who seemed to want to carry me even when I didn't want to keep going. Like, they didn't let me go. I was trying to figure out how I could fix what was going on inside and everything that I knew, you know, get prayed for, or go to some healing place, or whatever it was, it was so inward focused. Uh, I wasn't getting anywhere, I was just always upset, but there was something to serving that I figured out was gonna be the key to healing my broken heart. Everything changed when I decided that I was going to join the worship team. It was a big deal for me to even pick up my guitar again. The thought of even opening my guitar case freaked me out because it brought back uh, my past life. And this time around, it needed to be real. I didn't want to live hiding all the pain. I wanted to worship out of freedom to live out of freedom. Starting from the ground up and serving was going to be what I needed to do. But I had some pride issues I had to deal with. But I knew that's where my healing was going to start. It was just taking the focus off myself and serving in those little moments that something broke and I never knew that serving would bring 
such healing in my life. This time I was worshiping out of a true response to God's love in my life. I often ask the question to God about what he thinks of me. He's just so proud of how far I've come and fought. And it's true that God is so close to the brokenhearted because I've felt them. That's where I live from now.